purpose of this video is to demonstrate mail merge in Word 2008 for Mac. Now mail merge is one of the more powerful features of Word. And the idea is that you're going to create some document, say like a letter, that will be sent to a lot of different people. This letter is going to be mostly the same for all the recipients. Uh, the only difference is the some little pieces of information in the letter will be customized to each user. What we're going to do is create a contact list that has that unique information for each recipient. That is like their name or the recipient's address. And then we're going to automatically combine the information from that contact list into each of the letters. I've gone ahead and created this placeholder letter for us. Um, the information that we'd like to be unique, that is to be customized for each recipient, is the recipient's address and the recipient's name. So let's see how we would add that information in. The first thing we want to do is go to the Tools menu and go down to Mail Merge Manager. When we click on that, this Mail Merge Manager window should appear. You can see there's a six-step process that's numbered out here in the Mail Merge Manager. The first one is we're going to have to select the kind of document that we're making. We're going to click on the Create New button and then click on Form Letter. Next, we have to select a recipient list. This is the list of people that we're going to send this letter to. When you click on the Get List button, you see there are several options here. In this first example, we're going to look at creating a new data source, that is a new list of contacts. When I click on that, you'll see that it asks me um, what fields I want to be in this list. And these are all normal pieces of information that you would track about uh, a person that you're going to contact. Um, since I'm not interested in doing all of these, I'm going to remove the ones that I'm not interested in like their job title and their company um, and also their phone number information. Okay. So now I'm going to say okay and it's going to ask me to save this data source somewhere. I'm going to call this contact list. And it's going to be saved as a Word document. I can save that wherever I want to. I'm going to click save. Now it brings up this data form that asks me for the information that I'm going to store about each person. So let me go ahead and add in some of the people in my, my database. Let's add in a first name, last name, an address, so all the information that I would need to, to mail this. I'm going to say add new when I'm done to add the next person. And let me just add one more so we can get a good example. Say that this is in okay. So now we've created these three people that we're going to send this letter to. We're going to say okay, uh, and now you'll see that we have these placeholders for all the information that we've typed in, and this is the real power. So what I'm going to do here is in the recipient's address, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to bring over address 1, address 2, the city, I'm going to type in a comma, and then I'm going to drag over the state, put a space, and put the zip code. Now I'm going to replace that text name, which was static, with first name, space, 
last name. Now what we've done here is all of these gray boxes with the little arrow symbols are actually placeholders for the fields. And if we'd like to see them, we can click on this preview results and click on the ABC button that says view merge data. When we click on that, you'll see that we get a preview of what the document's going to look like after it's merged. So you see that's exactly how we want it to look. As we see through over here, we can actually go through and look at the different records in our contact list and see all the different information that we've typed in. All right now, this is just previewing. If we want to actually save this new document, that is, if we want to actually do the mail merge, you see this step six, complete the merge. And there's two options. You can merge to the printer, which will actually print a copy of this letter for each individual in the contact list. What we're going to do is merge to a new document. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a new document um, that has each of the individual names in it. So I'm going to click this merge to new document. And you'll notice now I have the document that is three pages long. That is, it has a different letter for each individual that was in my contact list. So this has been an example of how to use mail merge and create a list of contacts that could be used uh, repeatedly to send out form letters.